Hello everyone! So today's video is gonna be so handy for you crafters that love to experiment. Natural pigment extractions offer endless possibilities and the best part is that you probably own the ingredients and the materials. So that's amazing. Remember that in this channel, Crafty Natura, I show you how I made different arts, crafts, DIYs, all inspired by plants and nature and keeping always sustainability in mind. So if this sounds good to you, then subscribe, it's totally free. I've been experimenting for a while in this field, trying to pick plants that will give me a more defined color. And from there, play with the different fibers you can use, play with the mordants you can use and the concentration of each of the pigments. I'm showing you the different samples that worked the best for me, all in cotton. And they go from acorn to walnut, um, wine, even uh, onion peels. That is what we are gonna be doing today. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be dyeing this shirt that it's 70% cotton, 30% acrylic. Make sure that the, the clothing you're using uh, contains plant fibers because they are easier to, um, to pick the color. And uh, I'm gonna be using mordant, iron mordant in this case, but don't get don't get frightened by this word because uh, we're gonna be doing it together and probably with things that you already own. So, amazing. Um, and uh, stay with me because at the end I'm gonna be giving you a bonus tip. To prepare the mordant we are going to use something rusty, two parts of water and one part of vinegar. Mix it all together and then cover it with a lid to avoid the evaporation. After leaving the iron water rest for some weeks, it's ready to be used. To prepare the t-shirt, start by soaking it in water and then add the iron to the container. Leave the garment in completely sunken. Okay, so now we have a bowl full of already heated water and then we just have to add the onion peels or skins here. And then it will go back to the heat for about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna be using this little time while it cooks to talk about mordants, which are substances that help binding the uh, pigment to the fiber. And uh, they are organic and inorganic. The ones I use that are organic is soya milk and inorganic the iron that I'm using here. Both of them are non-toxic for the environment and they work the best for me, so that's why I use them. Um, but there are also some pigments that don't need any, any mordant at all. But I assume, I don't know this, but I assume that they, the color will fade quicker. So that's your choice. But uh, I think these two options are available for everyone and even for free in the case of iron. So yeah, have a try with it. The next day Now it's time to take the shirt out, rinse it a little and put it in the dye and then cook it for about 30 minutes. This is a rough 
estimation of what it takes because you will see how the color is um, attaching to the clothing and how you want like what tone of color you want so whenever it uh, reaches the tone that you want then you take the cloth out but what I like to do is to heat it a little in the stove and then let it rest in the same liquid for as many days as you want but uh, what I've been doing is from two to three days Here I introduce you to my compost bin and all the little creatures Aww. that live there and help in the process of decomposing any plant residues that I throw there and it gives me in return high quality soil as the dye is extracted from plants we can feed our compost bin with these residues Rinse it and wash it as usual. And there you go, here is the result. Now I'm gonna give you a bonus tip because, okay, we have the pigments and that's the dye for the fabric but the good thing well amazing actually is that we can also use this uh, liquid to create like watercolor paintings and well here you have a sample uh, of only using um, onion as a uh, onion plus water that's all i use here but here in this case we have the onion dye with, uh, well, there is here some iron also because the, the shirt had, had, had it and, uh, well, there is remain, there is some uh, remaining uh, iron molecules, I guess, that made this uh, darker than only the onion. And then we also have um, the mix of only the iron water. This is water, vinegar and rust from nails or whatever you find that has rust in it. So we're gonna try and paint. I'm gonna show you how it looks once it's dry and only let you know that what gives it the um, orange color is the tannins that the plant has. Many plants have it, like um, you can find it in nuts, in acorns, in all the, all the things that are red and orange, brown, uh, have tannins in it. So yeah, let's, let's start. I'm gonna use different papers one for the iron in onion and the other only for the iron. Have in mind the more diluted the mix is, the more uh, clear or well, clear transparent looking uh, the, um, the watercolor is gonna be. So a trick for this, if you want darker tones you need to let it evaporate so that the pigment is more concentrated after that's what i did with this one this one is going to be very strong color the iron mix we will be also using just to test um sodium bicarbonate and regular salt because uh, the, um, the sodium bicarbonate will change the pH 
and the salt will create a nice uh, effect if it interacts properly. Some things that are worth mentioning before leaving is that you cannot dive into dyeing uh, with the mentality that you will achieve the color that you have in your mind. Why is this? Because it depends on many things. Uh, first of all, the amount of dye, well, pigment, in this case tannins, that each of the skins have. That's something we cannot control. The water we use, the type of fabric we are using, and even the, um, the mordant we are using and the amount of, well, the concentration of this mordant. So it will never um, come up the same way. And that's fun for me, that's fun and that's the special part of natural dyeing. Another thing is that probably uh, I will have to be um, doing another dye in this uh, cloth, well, this t-shirt, uh, probably in one or two years, because the color will fade with washes. But um, that's something I don't know yet. Um, I will keep you updated, I guess. Uh, but I assume that the color will fade until it reaches something like this. But for me, that's okay, that's fun, and I enjoy the process of natural dyeing, so it's not like something I, I don't want to, like I'm not looking forward to do, you know? So yeah, you know that when you only, when you are uh, extracting the pigments, you not only have um, dye for clothing, but you also can have paint. So. That's incredible, isn't it? I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that it inspired you in some way. See you soon.